Hey everybody, okay, on this video we're going to be going through GNOME extension and specifically the CP manager here. Very good, by the way. Um, and open RGB. Uh, someone asked me if I was able to change the color, uh, the, you know, the, the RGB colors of the video card. Um, open RGB actually detected most of my uh, devices connected to the, to the motherboard. Uh, including the, 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 you know what? Let me just change this. So it, because I, I left it like that in a previous video, and it, this is basically it's going to be changing the color of the RAM, the DDR5 RAM. Uh, and it's it's just that one because I left it static and it was looking weird. I do know that for DDR5, I don't know about DDR4, but on DDR5, if you save this, it gets saved in a permanent way okay so the ram will stay in whatever color you set there even when you turn on the computer okay from that from the very very beginning uh everything else is just that uh, if you've seen my previous videos you know i'm using a corsair um cooling system and also for the for the um fans and everything there so um, here you're just seeing everything about the, the what open RGB detected. But the question was about can I control the 4090 colors? Okay, the answer is no, not yet. But you can go to the open RGB, click devices, well, click settings here, and go to settings. And for example, in my case, I have a SOTAC 4090, and the only SOTAC that they have here is this one. Uh, if they do have any 4090s, you just type 4090 and you're going to see which ones they have. So if I had a Gigabyte and MSI and one of these ACES, you click on that baby and they can control the, the the RGB lighting for it. Okay. And actually, this opening RGB does more things. Okay. As you can see here, uh, that's, that's for that question. Next question How the hell do we control or lower? The temperature of the CPU. So I found this baby CPU frequency. Uh, let's click here. Right now I have a 50%. That's because most of the time I don't actually need that much power, but uh, it does affect your game. So if the CPU ends up being bound or or limiting the game. So let me show you something. Uh, I was actually testing it with Cyberpunk. So we're gonna leave it at uh, 50%. And remember, this is a 4090 video card and the 13900K. It's being limited there. So let's go in the game here. And let's play around with the effect of playing the game at 5.5 gigahertz or more versus 3. Let's do it. You get an idea, okay? But I'm happy because the, the, the temperature is a lot lower. You know, for experiments for experiments for people that have that type of um gear hurt in their cpu and they want to know what will happen if they actually jump from three to five now you're gonna know i got the lss enable uh, the ray tracing everything you can see the usage here and let's start you can see the usage when the game is loading that's when you will use the most cpu okay but still this internally affects the, um, the end result of the FPS. So let me show you. So right now we're getting, you know, uh, 70. Like that. We're getting 68 FPS, 66 FPS, 63 FPS. Uh, with the top of, what, 70 something. Okay. Again. Test here. Getting around, you know, 66 FPS up to up to 70. Just remember that. And look at the CPU usage. The, um, you can literally see that Cyberpunk is actually using all all the threads, all of them. Um, so we'll check something here. Okay, so I got this here. And now we're going to put this at max. Let's just play. See how easy it is for me to play around with it. 
Max in the main there. Okay. Continue. Try to play. And let's see the effect of lowering the CPU. Max threshold there. And look at the look at the FPS. It went from 60 something, 70 something, to basically you'd say 50% more than that. Obviously, you can boost this uh, with a couple of uh, things. The easiest one, if and only if it works for you, is uh, using XMP for the RAM. And the faster the RAM, the more FPS you actually get. You don't get a bunch. But to give you an idea, you actually, you more or less get probably between 2 and 4 FPS for every something like 400 megahertz, additional megahertz, between 2 and 4. So at the end of the day, like if you get the fastest DDR5 that you can get right now, we're talking what, 10, 12 F FPS more, maybe? So it's not worth the, the cost. I mean, I would say that. Um... Yeah, but you can see the CPU usage. Okay. You can move the thing around like that. And it's, you can actually see that the game is actually using all the threads. All the threads. So I would guess that if you get an AMD CPU, this game might, I don't know, in theory might run much better I mean if it, if it uses this many threads because you know AMD has more and also the architecture is different so that that might I might be wrong there but if somebody has an AMD that would I would really like to know before you spend a bunch of money purchasing an AMD computer okay close that baby yeah it always says that to me Okay, so here's again a nice um, like controller. Just to control the temperature if, you, if you're picky about the temperature and all that. I am. Uh, CPU frequency. You can see there and you know, it's an extension here and all that. Uh, there was another question about the thermal paste. So uh, I did not. Let me go to Capelix. There. So the cooling system that I'm using is now. Are you thinking this? One? No. Oh no, it's this one. This is the one that I'm using right now. If you have a better one, hell yeah, try to use this one. I'm using the the I'm using the white one. Boy, I am using the white. One. I thought it was a black one. Okay, so I'm using this one. I actually had to take it off from the CPU only once and put it back because of the way that I I did it. Did it on the wrong way. If you look at my videos, my previous videos, you'll see how it is uh, right now. Um, but I didn't put any additional thermal paste. This thing pumps with its own. Uh, I, I, and just in case I'm not throttling the CPU because of that, I, I just I I want the thing to last like 10 years now. But I I, I mean I could leave it up to here. There's no problem with the thermal paste. It actually um, I I don't live at 100 degrees every time I'm playing um, it, it's actually something around 70 uh, so we can do a quick test here but this is a, the one that I'm using if you do get the, get the 3900k try not to get the, the the one with two try to get it with three okay because I we did an actual testing in one of the stores that so we were just uh, you know being curious there and you do save something around 10 to 15 degrees if you get the third one, the, the third fan here, third uh, thing here. So it's like, it just, you know, things that you guys need to know about the cooling there. It actually goes down even faster, obviously, because. But okay, let me put it at max and let's play this game again. I'm gonna disable the LSS because it actually doesn't make sense. And you wanna watch the temperature at full. So you guys can get an idea of um and i'm just removing this one because dude i mean 1080 there, there's no need for it hey, everyone. Feels great to have you back. and i also don't need the boosting fps i want native 
performance. Or like that. Okay. That would be a 70 something. Bit. Uh, look at the temperature. So it's, like I say, 70 something. Sometimes it does get to 80. There it is. Okay. 80 something. I don't want to kill. I don't want to kill nobody. Is ray tracing working? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. I don't like how the graphics. Put in quality. I don't know. For me, it looks better like this. I know I, some people have told me you don't need DLSS or it's not needed in 1080, which I understand why, but for some reason it looks much more beautiful. Hey, anyway, you're looking at the. Please look at the, the grease where I saw it. I got to 85, 88 now. Oh. Sorry, dude. Ah. Sorry, dude. Whoa, holy Jesus. Yeah, okay, I've not played the game yet, but. I'm getting this turf wars and there's people that I'm not supposed to be killing. Yeah, I'm, I'm still learning, okay? Don't mind me. I, I gotta do a video. Just playing this. I don't know if people would like that. Just a video of me playing on Linux. Whole game. Here. Okay, there's 90. 90. You saw 90 degrees, 91 degrees. Okay. And look at the FPS value. 90, 96, 4, 90. Something like that. Okay, 99, 100. Look at that water. Okay, now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Saying that because I. Color set. Okay, now we're gonna put it down to. Big Daddy. Okay. Check out how it's gonna behave. Same configuration, same area. Just watch the temperature and you take your decision in regards to if it's um, feasible or if, if we actually need to have a max all the time. You can see the FPS value there. 60 something. Again, because I went to 50%, you can see the water there. Uh, we lost 50%. Well, almost 50%. Like 25, 30% there. Oh. Look at that. I'm not used to these graphics. Like, for real, I'm not used to these graphics. A lot of graphics. Okay, so this is 1080. Uh, we can see how they... The game... Holds... Everything full. I've also been able to compare a couple of the videos. I forgot to mention that. I'll do another video about that. Comparing videos of 40, the 49 on Windows on Cyberpunk, everything full versus Linux. Okay? Because I, I was having my doubts, but I actually found out that there were a lot of. There were several YouTube videos. I'm sorry to say, but there were several YouTube videos that were basically lying. I don't know what the terminology is to to do the video and then fake the the performance because then other videos with the same hardware, same everything, did them and were were not even close to the FPS value. Um, so I'll be I'll be creating like a file where I, I won't point what videos, but I'll just be checking the real ones where they actually mention the performance 
obviously the performance of Cyberpunk on Windows is it, gonna be whoa, it's gonna be much better. Should be much better. Um, but we're gonna find out on the next video. Okay. That's it. So hope you like this tool. CPU frequency manager here. Uh, by the way, I during all the game I had a power save here. I know the game was on, but this thing was throttling in regards to power save. Put it here if I wanted to. Just that. That's it. So think positive and big hugs. To everybody.